Estrada with repeats at the concert. World's longest minute. There it is, 220. Right? Pencil. Entrada with repeats. F concert is the key. One measure. One, two, three. Sarah Bond, no repeat. Sarah Bond, no repeat. Key of B flat, two flats concert in three. Half notice of pulse, no repeat. One measure up front. Play out. One and two. And Starts waving her arms at me. Let me know. With repeats, F concert. Two bars. One, two, three, one.
make sure you have a calm circumstance. Ready? We'll do the ball with no repeat. Flats concert. Right. Bow, no repeats. E flat concert. Long, long, E. Four beats. One, two, ready. That has in the queue, should be queuing me again. Here we go. Two bars. Big fanfare. One, two, one, and. <coughs> <laughs>
driving. Watch me for the room. Big sound. Please rise for the presentation of the colors and the singing of the national anthem by Haley Hansen. Please remain standing until the colors have been posted. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting
Please be seated. Good afternoon. On behalf of the university community, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the fall 2022 graduate commencement exercises. We want to thank our governing body, the Virginia Tech Board of Visitors, led by Rector Letitia Long, for their deep commitment to the university. I also want to welcome Robert Weiss, our faculty representative to the board, and Phil Muscovic, the graduate student representative to the board, who are with us this afternoon. Please join me in recognizing the university's Board of Visitors. This week, we officially closed our sesquicentennial celebration of the 150th anniversary of our founding. Over the past 18 months, we gained a deeper understanding of our history and an even greater optimism for our future and the future of the graduates sitting here today. We are proud to have you represent Virginia Tech as Hokie alums in the years to come. Through the ceremony, we recognize your significant achievement and celebrate your talents, your skills, and your hard work. It is also important to note that these students would not have achieved their goals without the teaching, guidance, and mentorship of Virginia Tech's outstanding faculty. I would now like the faculty to please stand and be recognized. And the supporting cast of family, friends, and community members behind each graduate student also deserves recognition with the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, brothers, partners, spouses, and children. Please stand so we congratulate you as well. Graduate students are an important, important partners in the university's research, teaching, and engagement missions as they earn degrees in Blacksburg and locations across the Commonwealth and online. During the summer and fall semesters, 1,460 students earn advanced degrees and certificates from an offering of 89 masters and 70 doctoral programs in eight colleges. There are approximately 340 of our graduates here today. It is now my pleasure to present Virginia Tech's Executive Vice President and Provost, Dr. Cyril Clark. Thank you. The faculty, deans, and academic administration of Virginia Tech take a great deal of pride in the accomplishments of our students and supporting each of you in your journey to graduation. On behalf of our entire academic community, I congratulate you. and I'm grateful for the opportunity to join you in your celebration of this milestone achievement. As Hokies who will carry forward the spirit of what proceed into the next phase of your lives, you have the opportunity, and I would even say the responsibility, to use your skills and talents to positively impact our society, both locally and globally and to advance the welfare of people around the world through education, knowledge, and advocacy. When Hokies combine capacity with compassion, we create a global community of people who can improve the world around us for everyone. When we combine the power of technology with talent, we create access to resources and relationships that bring us closer together. And when we combine education with empathy, we build systems and structures that can feed, clothe, cure, educate, and enlighten communities around the world today, as well as for generations to come. So once again, congratulations on this momentous achievement. And I wish you the best of luck in your future personal and professional endeavors. I would like to now introduce the Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Amy Sopranand. Good afternoon, everyone. At this time, I am pleased to present this year's recipient of the Graduate Alumni Achievement Award. 
The Graduate School and the Alumni Association established the award to recognize graduate alumni who have achieved the highest goals in their fields. I am very pleased to announce that the 2022 recipient of the Graduate Alumni Achievement Award is Dr. Carrie Sutton. Dr. Sutton, oh. <laughs> Dr. Sutton earned her PhD in Science and Technology Studies in 2010 and is the Health Equity Research Scientific Director for MedStar Health Research Institute in Washington, D.C where she's responsible for strategy and growth in health equity research and for building partnerships and community relations to foster such research. Dr. Sutton's research at Virginia Tech explored the neglect of African-American and Latinx communities in genetic testing and research. Her research grew out of her personal experience with a family member with cancer diagnosis, which illustrates how health research and treatment failed to include the lives and voices of marginalized populations. She has become a recognized leader in health equity research and advocacy, increasing the awareness of its value in academic medicine. She has a deep concern for doing good by communities and improving their access to quality health care. While at Virginia Tech, Dr. Sutton was a Minority Academic Opportunities Program, or MAOP, scholar and was active in the Black Graduate Student Organization and the Graduate Student Assembly, which is now the Graduate and Professional Student Senate. She maintains her ties to our university through her work as a mentor in the VT prep program. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Sutton. Thank you to the Graduate School and to the Alumni Association for this prestigious honor. Uh, it's hard to believe that 12 years ago I was just starting on my journey after receiving my doctoral degree. Uh, but I'm still on that journey and it's my life's goal to ensure that patients and communities and families, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender identity, lived experience, geographic location, are able to have the best life and well-being possible. So that's my goal, and I wish you all well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sutton. This fall, we've invited three graduate students to share some comments about their experiences. Modeled after the Nutshell Games, hosted by the Virginia Tech Center for Communicating Science, each student will share a story in 90 seconds. I know you'll enjoy their reflections. Ariel Heminger, who is earning a PhD in plant pathology, physiology, and weed science, is our first speaker. She will be followed by Abdulaziz Alenzi, who's earning a PhD in education leadership and policy studies. Stephen P. Jarris, who is earning a PhD in sociology, will be our final speaker. Ariel? Reflecting back on the last several years, there isn't an exact moment that I can zero in on that has been transformational for me. Instead, it's a feeling and an idea that started as a seed and has grown into a full-fledged mature tree. Initially, in talking with others about their research, I felt that all of our research was very different from one another, but that wasn't the case. All of our research shares a common goal, making the world just a little bit better. We're accomplishing this in many different ways. Some of us will go on to be teachers and mentors, inspiring a new generation of students. Others are addressing ways that STEM fields can improve our lives and conserve ecosystems. And we will all become advocates for change that will build a stronger and more resilient community. We are like an ecosystem. Each piece serves an important function and helps to provide balance in, to the other pieces. Each of us has unique strengths that allow us to create a brighter future and help one another grow. And so that feeling that has been growing during my time at Virginia Tech is the feeling of connectedness and community. And I wanted to thank you all for helping me grow and know that you are all very important 
and oh so special. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Abdul Aziz Al Anizi, an international student and a citizen from the state of Kuwait. Uh, as we move on from this institution and start our future endeavors, we do so with the knowledge, skills, and experiences that we have gained here. After reflecting on my own experience here at Virginia Tech, I realized that our education and growth did not happen in isolation or without a strong support system. We've been fortunate to be part of a vibrant and supportive community with dedicated teachers, mentors, and peers who have challenged, inspired, and helped us to reach our potential. We have also been fortunate to be supported by our families and friends who were always our biggest advocate, pushing us to be our best and never letting us settle for less. To our families and loved ones, thank you for your support and encouragement. To the faculty and staff, thank you for your commitment and dedication. As we look to the future, filled with excitement and anticipation, we are confident in our abilities and ready to take on the opportunities that await us. But we also recognize that the world is facing complex and urgent challenges from climate change to inequality and injustice. So as graduates, equipped with the knowledge and skills, we have a responsibility to be proactive, engaged, and compassionate citizens. In conclusion, let us celebrate this momentous occasion and let us do so with gratitude, pride, and determination. Let us remember the lessons and experiences that we have gained here at Virginia Tech and let us use them to make the world a better place. Thank you. My wife, our daughter, and I came to Blacksburg in 1981. My wife to join the faculty, our daughter to just be a baby for a while, and I to finish my PhD in anthropology. But the anthropology section of the sociology department closed unexpectedly after we got here. So with absolutely no background in business, but with some tech skills, which is nice for you, uh, I took a risk and started a company. Fast forward 35 productive years, I was thinking about retirement when, I, uh, when a friend in the sociology department, uh, Neil King, I borrowed this cool hat from him, uh, suggested I might be interested in a graduate seminar called Culture and Society. I was interested. Fast forward another two years, and I took another risk. I sold the business and returned to graduate school full time. One course I took was called Feminist Theory. I felt vulnerable walking into that class for the first time. By age and even by generation, there was nobody like me. But the folks in that class were bright, they were witty. And what struck me as being particularly significant, they were respectful of all the diversity in that room. That respect didn't just happen. We have at Virginia Tech what are called principles of community. For me, they're essentially an elaboration of the golden rule. The, they provide a safe space, not just in the classroom, but anywhere around the university community, a safe space where you can speak your truth you can make a mistake. You can change your attitudes, your ideas, your opinions, and just be the better for it. Fellow grads, no matter where you come from and no matter where you're going, those principles of community are gonna be part of your cultural toolkit wherever you go. Keep them handy as you take your own risks. Allow yourself to be a bit vulnerable and work as hard as you can to create the very best version of yourself. Thanks. Thank you so much, Ariel, Aziz, and Steve. 
I'd like to acknowledge the Tudela Monacan people who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we work and live and recognize their continuing connection to the land, water, and air that Virginia Tech consumes. We pay respect to the Tudela Monacan nations and to the elders, past, present, and emerging. I'd like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of the students who have fulfilled the requirements for a graduate degree at Virginia Tech. Among the graduates today are those who have received fellowships or scholarships and awards, including the Alumni Association's Graduate Teaching Excellence or Service Excellence Awards, William Preston Society's Master's Thesis Awards, those who have earned special recognition as outstanding master or doctoral students in your college, were graduate students of the year, or obtained marks of distinction as a graduate school citizen or diversity scholar those who have participated in the Graduate School's Global Perspectives Program or were inducted into the Graduate Honor Society, Alpha Epsilon Lambda, the Interdisciplinary Research Honor Society, Iota Delta Rho, or the Academy for GTA Excellence. Those who have served the university as a GTA, GRA, or GA, by per or by participating in the Graduate Honor System or governance through the Graduate Student Assembly. Those who have earned their degrees at university campuses beyond Blacksburg, including Greater Washington, D.C., Metro Area, Roanoke, Richmond, and beyond. These are but a few examples of the many accomplishments of our graduates today. Would you all rise? Congratulations on your accomplishments and thank you for being a part of the Virginia Tech community. You may be seated. We've been through a few difficult years and my first thought is, you made it. You made it through hardship, you made it through sorrow, you made it through circumstances beyond that which any of us could have imagined and different from any of which I have ever seen. It's been hard and I'm in awe of your strength and resilience. A graduate degree is both an incredible and impossible achievement that only a tiny fraction of Americans realize. It takes a powerful combination of intellectual aptitude, resilience, diligence, and support to complete. Now that you're finished, I hope you can take the time to reflect on and be proud of all of the hard work you have put into attaining this degree. I know we are proud of you, as are your supervisors, your mentors, your family, and your friends. All the hard work you put in, it matters. It means something. My biggest piece of advice for you is to determine what's most important in your life and always strive to keep that in focus. It may be family or friends. It may be a driving passion to study the stars, write a book, or run a marathon. That important thing actually may change over time, so make sure you continually re-examine your priorities and continue to focus on those things that are important to you. Ask for lots of advice from lots of people, but in the end, make the decisions that are going to be best for you, that will make you happy. It's your life. You must live it for you. Although there have been many events in the U.S. and around the world that have left us shaken, anxious, and worried about the future, I believe in you. I believe in your ability to be resilient. I believe in your sense of justice. I believe you will make the world a better, more equitable place. Be well, be happy, be proud. You've got this. Thank you for all that you've taught me, and congratulations, class of 2022, and my very best wishes to you all. We will now begin the conferral of doctoral degrees. A very old and special tradition in academia accompanies the presentation of the doctoral degree. The doctoral candidate and the student's major advisor, the advisor who most mentored and supervised the student's research, walk together to the stage where the advisor places the hood over the head of the graduate. By hooding the graduate, the faculty member symbolically welcomes the graduate as a professional colleague, and this professional relationship and friendship often continues through the graduates and the mentors' lives. Will all the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education degrees please rise?
President Sands, I have the honor to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy and the Doctor of Education degrees. With the power vested in me by the Board of Visitors and the Commonwealth of Virginia, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Will the marshals please escort the candidates for the doctoral degrees and their major professors to the stage for the hooding ceremony? the Doctor of Philosophy from the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences in Agricultural and Extension Education, Nesma Osman, put it by Professor Thomas Archibald. In Animal and Poultry Sciences, Sarah Elizabeth Cloft, put it by Professor Eric Wong. <laughs> Madison Louise Gonzalez, put it by Professor Sally Johnson. In Animal Science, Dairy, Alvaro Gonzalo Morales Ramirez, put it by Professor Mark Hannigan. <laughs> Jacqueline Marie Prestigard, put it by Professor Mark Hannigan. In Crop and Soil Environmental Sciences, Karen Ruth Brooks, put it by Professor Mark Ryder. <laughs> Jacqueline Carolyn Fiola, put it by Professor Ryan Stewart and Greg Ivandolo. Bright Quabina Ofori, put it by Professor William Frame and Professor Ryan Stewart. Sarah Elizabeth Shaver, put it by Professor Brian Badgley. Zachary Shea, put it by Professor Bo Zhang. <laughs> Gerald Enos Sija, put it by Professor Kang Jia and Professor Cassidy Rist. In entomology, 
Na Shi, hooded by Professor Aaron Gross. In food science and technology, Shua Qian Su, hooded by Professor Yun Yin. In plant pathology, physiology, and weed science, Ariel Renee Heminger, hooded by Professor David Hock. From the College of Architecture, Arts, and Design in Architecture and Design Research, Sevda Ozturk Sari, hooded by Professor Patrick Miller. In environmental design and planning, Omo Bolanle Ruth Ogunseju, put it by Professor Abiola Akanmu. From the Pamplin College of Business, in business, executive business research, Howard K. Haynes put it by Professor David Townsend. From the College of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering, Nihar Agastya Balantrapu, put it by Professor William Davenport. Joseph Peyton Brooks, put it by Professor Robert Canfield. Christopher John Hickling, put it by Professor Nathan Alexander. Vidya Vishwanathan, put it by Professor William Devonport and Professor Todd Lowe. In Biological Systems Engineering, Daniel Jeremy Smith, put it by Professor Teresa Thompson. In Biomedical Engineering, Yunju Meng, put it by Professor Kostin Untaru. <laughs> Caleb Stein and Associate, put it by Professor Jennifer Munson. Kinsley Tate, put it by Professor Jennifer Munson. In Civil Engineering, Ali Al-Falakawi, put it by Professor Karen Roberts Woolman. Osama Alsalus, put it by Professor Susan Hottle. <laughs> Benjamin Cole Davis, put it by Professor Amy Pruden. <laughs> Ebenezer Oladayu Fanijo put it by Professor Alexander Brand. Seju Kang, put it by Professor Peter Weixland. Alexandra Markovic Graf, put it by Professor Jesus de la Garza.
Deborah Fairbanks McGlynn, put it by Professor Gabriel Isaacman Van Wertz. Mohammed Hassam Soleimani Babakamali, put it by Professor Rodrigo Sarlo. Corey David Waite, put it by Professor Mark Edwards. Callie McLaughlin Yost put it by Professor Russell Green. Abril Victoria Yushan, put it by Professor Matthew Hebden. In computer engineering, Rahul Krishnamurthy, put it by Professor Michael Xiao. In Computer Science and Applications, Lawrence Richard Lyle, put it by Professor Doug Bowman. Satapan Muthia, put it by Professor Daphne Yao. In electrical engineering, William Henry Clark IV, put it by Professor Alan Michaels. James Patrick Conroy, put it by Professor Wayne Scales. In engineering education, Tara Kina Holoman, put it by Professor Walter Lee. In industrial and systems engineering, Abdul Rahman Abdul Qadir Al Haider, put it by Professor Nathan Lau. Caitlin Ann Henderson, put it by Professor Alejandro Salado. Paul F. Wach, put it by Professor Alejandro Salado. In materials science and engineering, William Douglas Hartley II, put it by Professor Hang Yu. Jared Denmark McDonald, put it by Professor William Reynolds and Professor Michael von Spakovsky. Manuel Enrique Umanzor, put it by Professor Alan Druchitz. In mechanical engineering, Lindsay Burnett Basic, put it by Professor Christopher Williams. Adam Wallace Lowry, put it by Professor Jonathan Boreco. Shuo Mao, put it by Professor Wing Ng. Joshua Nicholas Moser, put it by Professor Eric Comendera. <laughs> Daniel Andrew Rao, put it by Professor Rohan Yoon. Yep. 
from the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences in Counselor Education, Shannon Kinsey Rusma, put it by Professor Laura Welfare. In Curriculum and Instruction, Gada Fayez El Mutari, put it by Professor Barbara Locke and Professor Alicia Johnson. <laughs> Emily Wade Fielder, put it by Professor Peter Doolittle. <laughs> Cheryl Elizabeth Morgan, put it by Professor John Wells. <laughs> Leslie Taylor, put it by Professor George Glasson. In higher education, Kendall Creshon Pete put it by Professor Tonisha Lane and Professor Claire Robbins. In planning, governance, and globalization, Julian Ray Mead, put it by Professor Bill Huckle. In Science and Technology Studies, Damian Patrick Williams, put it by Professor Ashley Shu. In Sociology, Stephen Paul Jarris, put it by Professor Shannon Bell. Jaria Strozier, put it by Professor Christine Labuski and Professor Brandy Faulkner. From the College of Natural Resources in Forestry, Joshua Rady, put it by Professor Jay Sullivan. From the College of Science in Chemistry, William Ryan Archer, put it by Professor Michael Schultz. In Economics, Yan Yang Zhu, put it by Professor Cheryl Ball and Professor Alex Smith. In Geosciences, Grace Ann Carlson, put it by Professor Susanna Wirth. <laughs> Morrison Nolan, put it by Professor Xu Hai Zhao. In Physics, Jason Edward Zack, put it by Professor Michelle Plemling. <laughs> Sean Gregory McMahon, put it by Professor Michelle Plemling. <laughs> From the Virginia Maryland College of Veterinary Medicine, in Biomedical and Veterinary Science, Sarah Catherine Kuczynski, put it by Professor Nisha Dugau. <laughs> Margaret Ann Nagai Singer, put it by Professor Coy Allen. <laughs> Vanessa Jacqueline Oaks, put it by Professor Kevin Lommers.
Yu Jing Zhang, put it by Professor Jia Chang He. In interdisciplinary doctoral degrees in translational biology, medicine, and health, Ri Si Lin, put it by Professor Yao Zhang. Zhao Bo Wu, put it by Professor Stephen Halsing. From the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences, receiving the Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies, Jennifer Evans Allard, put it by Professor Carol Cash. Joshua Daniel Bocock, put it by Professor David Alexander. Ajamu Adolfo Dixon, put it by Professor David Alexander and Professor Carol Cash. Ajamo Adolfo Dix, no. Abdulaziz Alanezi, hooded by Professor David Alexander. <laughs> Ajamu Adolfo Dixon. No. Matty Thompson Fallon. Fallon. Matty. Thompson Fallen, put it by Professor Carol Mullen. Jeffrey Stephen Faust, put it by Professor Carol Cash. Jennifer Lynn Fleming, put it by Professor Carol Mullen. <laughs> Courtney Jones, put it by Professor Carol Cash. <laughs> Carmen Renee Waterford. Put it by Professor Carol Cash and Professor Jody Brinkman. <laughs> Receiving the Doctor of Philosophy in Animal and Poultry Science, Nicholas Diaz. Put it by Professor Vitor Mercadante. In Human Nutrition, Foods, and Exercises, Angelina Hargrove, hooded by Professor Brandy Faulkner. Congratulations!
Will all the candidates for master's degrees please rise? President Sands, I have the honor to present the candidates for master's degrees. With the power vested in me by the Board of Visitors and the Commonwealth of Virginia and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the master's degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Will the marshals please escort the candidates for the master's degrees to the stage? And I want to apologize uh, for not introducing Dr. Marola, who has been reading the PhD uh, names, and he will also be reading the master's students' names, or candidates, degree recipients. Cameron Simmons. Stuart Lynn Saunders. Matthew Lindsay. Sarah Saeed Jaffrey. Hiba Abdul Wahab. Brian Lindsay Fortna. Josiah Wystonka Ridgeway. Trevor Marcus Marable. Sri Akhil Chalapila. Quinn Eccleston. Chris Tucker. Abu Bakr A. Hagibrahim. Abhishek Bapat. Monami Dutta Gupta. Laid Raju, Taimur Kamar, Drew Clobbert, Druvi Chirag Jariwala, Ali Wilson. Charles Logan McKinley. Patrick Andrew Costner. Brittany Span Pendleton. Christian Diaz Clower. Mohammed Ali Kadri, Tristan Pagkalinawan, Andrew Nicholson Ramos, Paul Atwood, Courtney Jones. Robert Joseph Umflet. Daniel Vu. Arjun Nischal. Caitlin Ann McCarthy. Anthony Prosekov. Logan Graham, 
Yun Yan Ren. Michael Fogelgren. Sarah Harrison. Sarah Elizabeth Bechtel. Nalini Chawala. Kelsey Jean Vanderlei. Kui Min Han. Kelvin Joseph Martinez Tertullian. Amanda Dawn Harvey. Joshua Custodio Aganon. Kaylee Carico. Kelly Blair. Jonathan Buchanan. Unless you're in Virginia, it's Buchanan. Alphonse Alexander Asenga. Amara Unique Thompson. Douglas Michael Annan. April Yvonne Kud. David Allen Cleveland. Ju Yu Chao Fu. Lindsay Pantelli. Kristen Stowe. Reagan Mayor Bustamante. Shelly Dix. Christopher White. Mark Bright. Leona Lynn. William Lee Hom. Vijay Kampulumati. Rachel Baxter. Laura Rezor. Michael Lowry. Elizabeth Beast. Rohan Abinash Mutukumar. Tanishk Bafna. Hemayet Ahmed Chaudhuri. Dev Pankaj Nandwana. Yash El Peshkumar Mehta. Felipe Restrepo. Nana Kwabena Agyeawusu. Alyssa Bradley.
Akash Kumar Pujari. Garrett William Carpenter. Wade Foster. Justin Jerry Seymour. Ryan Buxton. Andrew Brooks. Jacob Christopher Kubik. Inti Coilor Martinez Alpaca. Alex Howell Jr. Fitzhugh William Rawls. Brendan Thomas Green. Eric Michael Hunstein. Abesh Jung Karki. Hassan Ali Hashmi. Megan Kolwitz. Megan Olson. Iveta Lachance. Jordan Thomas Boone. Anna Farmer. Kajal Modi. Tori Peace. Amber Cole. Tina Hassan Yazdi. Cordin Settlin. Steve Farmer. Nathaniel Humphreys. Amadou Saiku Diallo. Daly Burns. Brendel Lee Wolf. Emily Scrooby Irvine. Alexandra Marie Strong. Jill Walker Shiflet. Ashton Holiday. Yi Wei He. Shafiko Islam. Mia Taylor. Surabi Srivastava. Elizabeth Gibson. Jonathan Ballen. Asad Sayedain. (laughs) 
David Sungre Cho. Sahana Basapati Srinivas. Disha Ban. Lillian Rose Prince. Pranav Shashikant Batawar. Bernardo Jose Carrera Loza. Hannah Glisson. Stephen Taylor McCarthy. Jay Greenhow. Nicholas Murray, Jr. Elizabeth Pedraza Smith. Pedro Rivera. William Brian Davis. Aaron Cole Everly. Clark Sabatus. Adele Gidio. Seema Agdasi. Benjamin Samuel Burge. Usman Ahmed. Ziwei Zhang Sparks. John Jacob LaRue III. Kurt Donald Iverson. Ryan Stephen LaFountain. Sawyer Bijan Pardis. Megan Trimmer. Tracy C. Whitlow. Caitlin Krebs. Leslie Christine Harwood. Christian Bragg Lineberry. Julie Kessler Kunz. Michael Stewart Allen. Courtney Michelle Sneed. Michael T. Napier. Alexander Afanasiev. Kenny Custer III. Anupa Mukeshkumar Shah. Manas Vijay Shukla. Arwa Ibrahim Al Ibrahim. Sengal Gidiwan Abay. Alex Kimiavi. Heather Schrantz. Michael Emmanuel Zistros. 
Carol Ann Maddox. James Cox. Brett Andrew Van Hoff. London Russell. Sarah Boys Maxiner. Yong Kyung No. Ju Won Park. Anita Mylene Sutherland. Madhuvanti Muralakrishnan. Romil Kimraj Balar. Anthony James Yost. Christopher Fry. Eva Deysa. Bryce Alexander Burrell. Paul Michael Cavanaugh. Saravana Kumar Ramakrishnan. Gautam Sundar Sharma. Suchit Sudala. Catherine McGrady. Ann Phillips. Caitlin Fauci. <laughs> Esther Afi Sawardo. <laughs> Fan Zhang. Xiao Chuan Fang. Brandy Respes. Hong Da Zhao. Casey Hall. Jeff Grassberger. Ivana Reynoso. Yamalet Macias Orihuela. Michael Alami. Peter Kent. Shraddha Podial. Michael Hendrickson. Matthew Trang. Alexander Christian Derue. Amanda Huang. <laughs> Jessica Ann Wilbur. <laughs> Ethan jo Joseph Miller. <laughs> Akshay Fogat. 
Ritvik Gatimukala. Nikita Donikal Chandrasekhar. Yang Chen. Audrey Gail Wilson. Corinne Wells. Drew Lenzing. Shijir Bayar Saikan. Joshua David Blasdell. Zifan Ye. Matt Bridges. George Burroughs Cartledge the Fourth. Jesse Devin Jude. Patrick Kadale Price. Miles Edward Gunter. Brita Ariel Johnson. Jeremy Doyne. Vibhavi Peris. Abdul Majid Karama Bajube. Fnu Jaya Kumar. Derek W. Kitts. Prasad Deepak Sonavani. Pratuya Rajan Saravanan Manikam. Vignesh Zundaraj. Yu Wei Wu. Jackson Prilaman. Please join me in offering our congratulations to all the graduates. <laughs> Dr. Robert Weiss, President of the Faculty Senate, will now offer a message to our graduates. Well, thank you. Graduates, and I'm uh, so excited to call you colleagues. Uh, my hope is that as you sit there, you reflect on what you uh, have achieved. I'm saying this because many of you have not only earned your degrees in classrooms, uh, but also going to the field, spending countless hours in laboratories or in front of computers. You transformed observations, measurements, thoughts, and calculations into knowledge that will help to make, uh, to make the world a better place. Aside from your disciplinary or interdisciplinary skills, you also learned valuable other skills, such as critical thinking and critical self-reflection. So, as you go out into the world, make it better, leave your mark. If you encounter any obstacle in your way, you can rely on these critical skills to, uh, you know, to overcome them. If that doesn't help, uh, you can use your self-reflection to zoom out to a level that helps you to maybe go around those obstacles. And if that doesn't help, you can always count on us, the faculty and your advisors of Virginia Tech. So do not be afraid to call us if you need our help. 
We are here for you. On behalf of the faculty of Virginia Tech, congratulations and go Hokies. Thank you, Dr. Weiss. Nathan Levinka, president of the Virginia Tech Alumni Association, will now welcome our graduates into the alumni community. Thank you. Good afternoon, graduates, families, and friends, and congratulations, class of 2022. On behalf of the Virginia Tech Alumni Association, welcome. We are so pleased to have you as the university's newest alumni. You are now part of a special group of more than 260,000 people all over the world. Our community is large, but we share a dynamic bond, and we are all Hokies. So wherever your path after graduation takes you, remember you are always a Hokie and you always have a home here at Virginia Tech. Once you leave Blacksburg today, I strongly encourage you to stay involved with Virginia Tech by finding Hokies in your community through your local alumni chapter and returning to campus often for alumni gatherings. Myself, along with all 260,000 living alumni, we are very excited to see what you will continue to accomplish and change the world. Congratulations and go Hokies. Thank you, Nathan. Last one. A special thank you to Dr. Marola as the reader of the names, to the faculty ushers and marshals, uh, to Haley Hansen and to Dr. Jay Crone and the members of the Virginia Tech Brass Ensemble for their part in this afternoon's ceremony. I'd like to take a very small moment to, again, recognize the family, friends, partners, and everyone who supported you through this journey. No one walks alone, and I would like for us to recognize them with a round of applause. On the road, on the road. Now please stand until the stage party has recessed. With the recessional, our ceremony will be concluded. Thank you for joining us, and have a safe trip home. Go Hokies. One, two, one.